The views and opinions expressed in this podcast by the host and or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or Paranormal Buzz Radio and or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is prohibited. Paranormal Buzz Radio will not be held responsible for you holding your knees, crying and rocking in a corner in a puddle of your own urine, or being beheaded by a group of children in a cornfield. In fact, if you come across a group of children in a cornfield, we promise to make fun of you as you run away screaming in terror. Listener discretion is advised. Caution. You are now entering the all-consuming realm of Shay's paranormal chat, where the things that are better left unsaid are actually said. Shut up and sit down. You're listening to Shay's paranormal chat. Paranormal podcasting done Shay's way. Tons of fun. Dude, seriously? A bit sarcastic. Hashtag investigator, not hunter. But always real. Hashtag data, not evidence. Don't get your panties in a twist. Oh my god, really? This is real, raw conversation. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Hey, hey, everybody. TGIF. Thanks for coming. And we have Carrie Terrio here. She's from Spirit Trackers in New Hampshire. She's a good friend of me and Nicole's. But how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Yeah. How was the drive up? Ah, wasn't bad at all. And by the way, it's in-house guest tonight. We're actually in person. She doesn't trust me to do it over Skype. She wants to be able to slap me in person. Which is always fun. It is. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yep. Makes so, it much easier to chat in person anyways. Yeah, yeah. Much easier. So. I see chat going. Yay, they can hear us. All right. Yay. <laughs> That's always a plus. So. Where do we begin? So much. <laughs> so much. It, we're missing Nicole. So it's I like, know. It's like so off. It's like. Because it's usually be always the three of us yeah. and we go out and yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because for some reason it's always an adventure. <laughs> it is. We met a few times in Salem at a couple paranormal meetings. Yep. And then our, our first attempt was Monson, right? Monson, yes. And we got the ice storm and. Yeah, we it was, we couldn't get anywhere. Everything We would have died. Just, we would have froze to death. Yeah. The ice itself. Or a slipped and fallen and broken yeah. something. Yeah. Yep. And then, was it the seminary next? I think this, yeah, we, we, we all met uh, Parsonfield. Yeah. Which that was, that was a lot of fun. Parsonsfield Seminary in Maine. Yep. It was fun. We, we worked really hard for four hours and then we, we can't, let's not mention any names. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but um somebody was very friendly that night <laughs> extremely yeah there was talk of yeah there was a lot of talk a lot of touching a lot a lot of that it was full moon literally <laughs> some of us saw more than the rest yeah you know so that our next attempt i believe was monson again the next month yeah we went back and, and we hit the swarm of mosquitoes attack of the killer mosquitoes like thousands of mosquitoes i have never seen so many mosquitoes it was horrible I'm like i had dead mosquitoes on me for days <laughs> it was it was i mean i took like three showers and i was still finding them everywhere i know it was I, like they oh, were terrible i've never seen like it was like a horror movie it really <laughs> it <was>. literally was <sighs> it was unbelievable i couldn't believe the mosquito so we tried that one <laughs> And my poor mother. Oh, God. The poor thing. We drag her out in the woods, and she, she gets attacked by a swarm of mosquitoes. You like, know, who'd have thought? It was the beginning of summer, the middle yeah. of the woods. Who'd have thought there'd have been mosquitoes? <laughs> and then they followed us, though. It wasn't like we left that area. They went with us. They were. They were. They were. There was something they liked. Apparently. Something. I don't know. So, yeah, it was, it was a great night, Nick. Yeah. I think she's talking about Maine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure which one. 
<laughs> they were all good, even though they some of them were fails. Yeah, well, we still we still have fun. Yeah, I mean, mean it, it's nice when we all get to actually get together and stuff. So yeah, Maine was the um, we did the nursery rhymes and yes. got all that activity every time we sang, which still amazes me because we watched the K two and everything, and it was going to the rhythm of the music. Yeah, and it was bouncing from. It wasn't just one device. It was a bunch of different devices. Yeah. And then the laser grid, the whole thing moved. Which I've never, and I've, but I've never seen like that where it was just keeping to the rhythm of us singing. Yeah. And, and that was just, to me, that was amazing. And then, you, and then it would stop. And then you say, okay, if we, if you want us to do it again, if you want us to sing, yeah. you know. Light this up. Would. Yeah. It was just amazing. Like I, I still, that, that was just probably one of the coolest things I'd ever seen. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Jen. I wasn't saying names. I was saying hi. Hi, Kim. And hello, Matt. Thank you for signing in for me. <laughs> That's Matt as the Parabuzz. Nice. You like that Parabuzz? Parabuzz. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it fits. Yeah, it does. The group of people. All of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah. <laughs> That's so. the one great thing about this field, all the, the really great people that I've met working in it, you know, just yeah. going out and doing this stuff. That's what I always say. But, and I felt really bad yesterday. At least I took Tylenol before you got here, so at least it's down a little. Well, so. thank, thank goodness. But um, the people you meet are great, but, the, you know, my I always compare it to if you love apple pie and you eat one that's rotten, you remember the rotten one. Yep. So when people talk about paranormal drama, that's what stands out is that one bad seed. Yeah. And we have to keep in mind all the good people. Because there are there's so many good there people, is. but you, you do. There's always one in the bunch that, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you want to tell some of, this, some of the story from this weekend? Oh, our, our lovely trip to Medfield. The, Did, the hospital. Have you seen the video I made? Yes, I've I yeah. watched that one. I just, I laugh. I mm -hmm. told my friend, I was like, you, I have never heard a spirit box swear so much. <laughs> why, why don't we go for it? We tell them where we were. and uh, We were up this weekend, Medfield State Hospital, formerly the insane asylum. Um, and just walked around. There's so many buildings left there. And it, it's just a 30 gorgeous, or 31? Something like that, yeah. Some of them have been torn down, used to be bigger. Yeah. And uh, it's just an amazing place to walk around and just to see. Um, but So we decided we were going to go over to the chapel because for some reason, I'm just like, that building just, I always feel drawn to it. Every time I've gone up there just to check it out, I want to be at the chapel. <clears throat> I had no idea that the uh, old morgue had been in the basement which would probably explain some of them. <laughs> and, you know, so we said, you know, hey, why don't we do a spirit box over here and see what happens? I have never heard so many swear words <laughs> come through. I Like, you know, you get the occasional. This was just repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. <laughs> it was like... There's a few of those words I don't even use, and everybody knows the mouth I have. Oh, yeah. And there's a few that... I Yeah, the, the last one, the, the, the see you next week. Next Thursday? Yeah, yeah. That was, I was just, it said what? Yeah, that was. <laughs> I just, and I, I, I understood, you know, a lot of people back then, I mean, they didn't think about it. I mean, they Somebody they asked me, swear. maybe they had Tourette's. I'm like, they could, because they would put people in for weird reasons like that. There was no, well, they But didn't... it could have just been an asshole. It could have just been trying to get our attention. It could have yeah. been any mental I, I look at my mouth. I mean, yeah. some people ask me if I have Tourette's. There are some days I wonder if I do. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, you know, that was the thing that, you know, sometimes it's like with dementia patients, they don't know their brain. It, it doesn't function the same way. That, and they just come out with words that they've heard. So, I mean, it could have been that, but I've never heard words like that. For anybody that didn't see the video, um, it's up on CIS YouTube and um, it's up on Shay's Paranormal YouTube. Um, but we were getting slut, whore, bitch, fuck, shit, sh shit, <laughs> bunch of others. But it was answering a few questions in between. Yeah. Um, it, we got a Shea, yep. which is fun. I didn't which, hear the Shea, but you two did. Yeah. Which is kind of weird because you, neither one of you call me Shea. No. Nicole, N Nicole says if she, she said Sherry that day. Yeah. But she would say Shea. She calls me Shea. 
Okay. You know. So yes. If you know, and then when I was bending over and it said slut, sexy. and she said, "Did you call her a slut?" And it's like sexy. sexy. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> but then when the, the family sexy, had yeah. walked over, when the family walked over, it stopped. I mean, it said slut a couple more times. Yeah, that's what he said. It was quick. Two quick whoops. Those two little kids showed up, and boom, it was done but swearing. Then the kids were asking questions, and it was answering them. Yeah. And they were asking some really good questions. So little kids, what color is your hair? Gray. What color is your eyes? Green. I mean, just in questions that we as adults and investigators didn't even think of. Yeah, I, I, that little girl could have been my daughter. I mean, oh, God, she acted yes. just like me. Yeah. It, we were trying to like pretend it didn't say the second slut. Yeah. And she's like, oh, thank you. That's the best compliment I've got all day. I'm like, oh, my I know. God. And is she, she mine? And she's like, what, 12? 13, I think? Thir- yeah. I was like, oh, my God. No. <laughs> And she handled it well, and then she made sure she's when she was leaving. We only told her once, and she made sure when she was leaving. She said, "You do not have permission to follow me yep. or, or anybody here. Yep. And you have to stay here." Uh, she did say the only place she can follow me is on I will I musically m- musically, musically yeah. because she needs more followers. Yeah, but then <laughs> when she was leaving, she did say, "You do not have permission to come." She did it really good. It was really stern. Yeah, it's a she was paranormal I, investigator right there. Oh yeah. We're training the next generation. But, yeah, she wasn't. She knew exactly as she walked over. You guys trying to catch EVPs? What what, what are we doing? Yeah, she, she walked. They walked by us. Nick, Nick, if if I'm forgetting anything, put it in chat. You'll hear this in 30 seconds, so I'm going to keep talking. Um, but they walked past us, and she literally, like, backed up. Like, yeah. yeah. She, she's like, are, you, are those EVP devices? She's like, I know what those are. Yeah. And she... She knew what we yeah. were doing, which it was it was just really cool. She and, was great, Nick. And uh, we never usually leave the spirit box running as long as no. we did. I can't and stand it that long, but they were no. getting good results, and the parents were okay with it, and they they the kids were asking great questions. And the parents were really cool. I mean, I was talking to them about you know the I was more interested different in the asylums, kids. and yep. he had keys to the old Taunton State yep. Hospital, so I was just like, I must have pictures for my Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I need these, so I was just telling me different places. He'd been showing me pictures, which was cool. And I'm listening to the questions of the girls, and I'm just like, Yeah, they were wow. really. I'm like, That's, you know, were you a nurse here? I almost died, this? and she said, You know, those fake paranormal TV shows. Oh, I'm I like, know. Yeah, I like her. I was like, Yep, she she fits in. Yeah, yep. yeah she, she gets it. <laughs> if I was like five, ten years older, I would think it was menopause, man. <laughs> I know you guys can't feeling. see, but I'm fanning myself. Oh my god! I feel like I should have one of those, you know, giant, you know, fans. And yeah. Just <laughs> sit there my, waving it at you. You'd be my new best friend, just like you know. <laughs> oh, this is I, I, yeah. I won't. I won't go to the point where I feed you grapes while I fan you. Yeah, but yeah, well, we can skip the grapes. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know, like the, the, the old Egyptian. <laughs> they're fanning. <laughs> yeah, they get to fan the queen. <laughs> Man. And. So, yeah, where did I miss any places? No, I think those are all the only ones. I know we sure we have more on the horizon that will be. Oh, yeah. Definitely. There's we already, yeah. so many places that are on my list. I think they kind of correspond a lot to you guys is what you guys want to do. They laugh in menopause. You can't see the chat. Sorry, I forgot. No, that's cool. <laughs> Um, it's also right here. Oh, nice. If I don't know if you can see that far, but yeah, well, I need a better um, prescription on my glasses. But yeah, it's also see. really far away. Yeah, but yeah, in, there's a investigation tonight. I still don't know if I'm making it or not. Um, but you two at least will go on the investigation, yeah. even if I don't. So, and it's a great. I won't say on air where it is. Gotcha. But um, it is a great place, and yeah, I've never really been in this area, so it's interesting. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, you know, a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live here. Okay, well, you kind of do live here. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Actually, it's not bad for adults, you know. It's, yeah. It's better than Mass. It's better than Haverhill, so. Well, you know, better than what's going on down there right now. Oh, so. prayers to everybody down there, man. Yeah, I got friends down there that I'm just, we get, yeah. you know, like I'm checking in on them, making sure he's okay, and. See somebody who wants to come out and investigate with my team, so I'm like, dude, are you okay? And it, it's just hard because I, I lived, you grew up 20 minutes from Lawrence. Well, yeah. We're, I was in Lowell, so yeah, you were right near me. Nicole and I are from Haverhill, so yeah. I mean, and it's Andover, North Andover, Methuen, 
Lawrence. Yeah, that whole area. Um, anybody doesn't know there was it was either um, a gas surge or gas explosions. I'm not really sure, but at least 60 to 100 fires in that area right yeah, now. There was something wrong. They found one of the pipes, I guess. Yeah. Um, there was like an aerial shot that had was corroded or something. So in horrible. South Carolina, Chris and them too. Oh yeah, everybody down there. That's terrible. You know how bad hurricanes can get. Mm -hmm. Living in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully my, my mom and my daughter, I hope, are listening. <laughs> I, I told them they had to. <laughs> yes. There's yeah. gonna be a test. <laughs> no, my, my mom, my daughter's really interested in this stuff and my so is my mom. She's um they they love hearing the stories of it, some of the things that I go out and do and yeah, my mom, yeah, I got bit a few weeks ago at my friend's place by we think it was a spider. Oh, um, I remember, yeah, yeah. Your mom, don't go into those dirty don't buildings. Don't go into the old buildings. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably be doing the same thing. <laughs> like, I was sleeping when I got bit. I knew you had your rabies shot, so that's yes. why I invited you over. Cause... Well, if I start biting, you're safe. <laughs> yeah, I don't have much company, you know, but I knew. Yeah, well, you at least knew I had my rabies shot, so we're, we're all set. <laughs> yeah, they they weren't sure. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was a spider bite. Eventually, the thing at least it looks better than it did last Sunday. I know, it's getting there. It's getting there. Oops. So, oh, all right, all right Kim. I'll make sure I watch for that. Where are you gonna go? You going to Farah? Takes thirty seconds. We talk. They don't hear us for thirty seconds. Oh, okay. So it's a little. Um, it's a little delayed. It's a little delayed, but. Um, yeah, I know. Early menopause. Early menopause, yeah. It's okay. Hey, I've been in the middle of Walmart, and I hate ham, but I will get one of those flat frozen hams and start banning myself. Well, Walmart like, will do that to anybody. Uh, Walmart just makes me crazy. I would avoid Walmart at all <clears throat> costs. I generally do. It doesn't always work out that way, because there's always something I need. Just going to Villisca. Not for a... Oh, that's one that's on, that's on the bucket list. Oh, yeah. We'll have to definitely watch. That's, yeah, that's one of those on my paranormal bucket list. Where's that place again? Sh which place, Jen? It's, she's laughing, so. Oh, fa 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 ra <laughs> <laughs> I got it. It took me a minute. The laughy face. I wasn't sure what she was talking about. Oh, okay. So. Um, nice. Man, it's so weird. Nicole should be here with us. I know. They said it's generally, you know, the three of us and... Everybody stays away. We, you know, we all go out for dinner. We have to warn the waiters. It's like, yeah, we're going to get You ready. were hitting on that one waiter. Not this time. We didn't. No, when we went out but, to Monson, the one that, um, at TGI Fridays. Yeah. You were like, that poor guy. I'm like, yeah. You want my number, dude? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, <coughs> I felt bad for him because, you know, it's like, you're being warned now. Yeah. Because I bat my eyelashes. <laughs> yeah. The accent slays me. She loves my accent for some reason. Nice. <laughs> uh. Hey, come on, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. You know that little heart? If you hit it, it will turn red. And it shows me how much you love me. Yeah, sh share the love. Share the love. Share the love. So, so what's your... <laughs> share the love with me. I need all the love I can get. <laughs> and all the fans I can get. She needs a lot of fans. <laughs> right about now even my face is literally red that's yep. how my ears are burning so oh um what what is your favorite loca local location local? that you do i love going to monson when you know we're not getting attacked by mosquitoes yeah and nice um been up to laconia state school we were talking about oh, that last that's, week yeah, that's i nice. love going there and just walking around it's a lot um Kind of like almost similar to the same style as um, Medfield. A cottage. Like a, I, I say campus. It's, it's like a cottage. campus cottage style. Yeah. yeah. Um, they had turned it at one point into a prison. But so you can't get, go walk through that part, but you can see it. Um, unfortunately, everything's boarded up. But just walking through there, it's just just a really neat place in all the different buildings. I got an EVP out of there one of the first times I went. And um, we're. <laughs> We played it back, and it was like, go home. And I'm like, okay, do you want me to go home, or do you want to go home? Because these That's kids were to... dropped off, and a lot of them probably did want to go home. So it was kind of one of those trying to figure out, okay, which do you want? Yeah. Because <laughs> it wasn't like, it didn't sound menacing, but you, when I played everything back, it was like, go home. 
Mm-hmm. You know, it was weird. You can tell, like, we were getting all those swears, but it didn't feel menacing. No, it, didn't it wasn't. Feel bad. It just, yeah. You know, you can tell the difference when it comes to. But yeah, it was, uh, Laconia State School was just a lot of fun. The other place I loved, um, ended up taking a trip up to Mount Washington Hotel. Ooh. And just kind of went in. We're talking, went up to the desk, we're like, hey, you know, we're Spirit Trackers Paranormal, you know, we've heard this, that, and the other. And, you know, it's this fancy hotel, it's like $1,000 a night to stay there. Mm-hmm. Absolutely beautiful. And they're like, oh, we have pictures. And they pull out this photo album with pictures of, of everybody was like outside, and there's a woman up in the window, which was room 314, which is Princess yeah. Caroline's room, if anybody knows. I know a little this, bit, Yeah. yeah. And you see her, and she, they're like, everybody's like, and they're showing us all these paranormal pictures. Here, you know, here's a historical walking guide who can do a self-tour. Walking around this hotel, you know, just jeans and a t-shirt. Other people are dressed up, you know, kind of nice. And they're just letting us walk through the entire hotel. Wow. And it was probably, like, the coolest experience because I didn't expect that. You know, so, oh, you're a ghost hunter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because I've gotten that. And they were just so welcoming. They were just amazing. And it was just, you know, I wasn't getting a room. I wasn't, you know, couldn't afford to do that because it was peak season. And that's, that's awesome. About they were just, and they did. They're taking out photo albums, telling us their personal stories and just, you know, talking to us. And it was just like, this is cool. And it was, you know, it was shortly after we, I had founded my team and it was just kind of going around trying to check out places. Mm. And it was like, I didn't expect that. So that's like one of my, I want to go back up there just to go walk around again, <laughs> just because it was yeah. really cool. Uh, even talk to some guests in the hotel. I've never even seen it. Oh my God. Not even like from the outside. I've never. Yeah. I have a bunch of pictures that I posted when we went last year and it, it's, you just stand outside. And I mean, it's, it's literally, it's breathtaking. It's... I've seen pictures. But I've never seen it in person. <clears throat> oh, it's one of those. You, it, you have to. And it was just one of those days we'd hit the state school and then we're like, okay. So we drove all the way up that way, went through different places and just checking things out. And it was just like, I loved going. That that was just like, I don't know. It was was amazing. And just the the reception we got just being in there. That makes it even better. Yeah. So. Oh, Nicole, you love me. Sorry, my chat froze or something. I didn't see that. I (laughs) hope you love me. Please love me. She needs the love. Yeah. I need the feels. <laughs> oh, wait. That means something different. That, that something. does. Uh, yeah, All right. I take um, that back. I'm a little concerned now. <laughs> yeah. I take that back. She's my sister. We don't need that. No, no. That, that's like a whole X-Files episode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, all right. So, you next. Where else? Let's see. So, I've been there. Mm-hmm. Um, when I, we, um, I was driving back from Florida last year. Um, oh, mm-hmm. We um, made a stop in Gettysburg, and this was probably the best EVP I'd ever gotten. We went down to the Saks Bridge. I'd never been down there, so I'm like, all right, you know, I'm going to stop. <clears throat> so I'm on the Saks Bridge. I got a white noise box going, and everything hooked up. And we hear, all of a sudden, there's like a cannon-like sound. I still can't figure out what it was, but it was like a whoosh. Really weird, and I'm like, then nothing. It was just a white noise, so I was finally like, all right. And normally, you know, I don't provoke anything like that, so I was just like, you know what, guys? You don't want to tell me what's going on? I'm just going to go tell the Confederacy what I think. And I kept mentioning the Confederacy. And all of a sudden, everything stops. And you just hear, no, she won't. Yeah. And I still have I have it on my recorder. And it, I just, every time I listen to it, it's like, because when it happened, it was like, what? what? <laughs> Is that your best EVP? That was probably one of my best EVPs that I've caught. And then I got, um, I think I showed you the picture I got at the um, Epson Schoolhouse. You see this figure sitting by the rocks. And it was a while ago when we were at Salem. Oh, maybe yeah. the first time we met. I yeah, think. and yeah. it's just, and everybody that sees it is like, what, what is that? And I'm like, I don't know. I can't debunk it. Mm. There was nothing there because I took three pictures in that mm. same spot, and it looks like a little kid. And the story is that there's a bunch of five kids that are buried around the tree in this what looks like could be a little cemetery next to this old schoolhouse. So it's still probably one of my most amazing because I, I, once we went through and we're looking, I'm like, what the hell is that? That's not normal. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to re-show me yeah. right while I um, remember. I had to find, it's on one of my So other. I can remember, I should say. Yeah. 
We um, um, I'm trying to watch. Nobody's talking to me. Nobody's talking to me. Nobody's talking to me. It's okay. Unless it froze again. So I'm not ignoring anybody. I'm trying to find something for you is what I'm trying to do <laughs> and talk at the same time. Yeah, we've done, um, I've done Haunted Victorian Mansion with a former oh, team I was on. Yeah. Um, S.K. Pierce and yes. Gardner, Gardner Matt. That place was amazing. It yeah. was. We had some crazy stuff happen there. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I kept every time I went into the red room. Um, on the second floor, I, every time I just like couldn't breathe in that room. Oh, really? I just all of a sudden, and I was fine in the rest of the house, that room. I just was like, I couldn't breathe. It was like, I felt like I was being suffocated, which was horrible. <laughs> but that, that was a really cool place. That is where we saw the worm light anomalies. That's was right. SK yes. Paris mansion in the basement. Um, I think three of them we saw. Yep. And then as soon as I get to. I can't show people in the chat, but Nicole will know what I'm talking about. Um, Nicole got a couple really good pictures. We didn't get the um, light anomalies on film, but you got my reaction. Yeah. And then you got the other two guys. Oh, wow. And they're like, in, yeah, it was definitely in. The, it was like 12 inches. Yeah. And it was like squiggly. And the, there was no, yeah. win, the windows were boarded up. There was, it was. It was yeah, you can't. And it was, it was mid-air. It wasn't on the wall. It was just kind of. And yeah. squiggly is it yep. going to be dust or anything like no, that? And it so, was like it was thick. Yeah. Um. Something tried to grab Nicole's camera. We well, had, it did grab it. It tried to yank it out of her. We had had that up on the third floor. Flashlight got ripped out of someone's hands. It was in like a, I think like a seven quarter type of thing, and it was just like all of a sudden you hear this bang, and he's like, "Something Hi, just ripped the flashlight out of my hand." It, I guess the chat just caught up because it just all uh. Went All of a sudden, it just, yeah. I go, yeah, I'm going to show her that that's what I was looking for, Nick. I'm showing her right now. I'll start with them. Um, and so we saw the white ones with our eyes. Yep. And then oh, that's wow. in the downstairs. Yep. Right? That's... And then this is a different. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's They're like normally... th these, but that's what they, <clears throat> the white ones. You, if anybody wants to see them, they can message me after or. They're up on a cis paranormal page that's, also. That's pretty cool. I mean, um, it looks like even down here. Yeah, it's like it's it, like the door is gone. Yeah. In that area. In the white squiggly lines, but um. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't get anything like that. Um, we had taken pictures outside, and one of them it looked like there was like a little boy in the window, which was. Yeah, the red church. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the boy! You were telling us about that. Yeah, and it's look like but it was you know is it matrixing is it the light playing trick so yeah but it, i mean it looked like a face in the window was like, yeah if we hadn't seen those white things yeah the squiggly things like we might have been like okay well what if but the shape of the, the second shape, one yeah. even though it's a different color but it it's still thick and it doesn't but, look like so yeah i was just showing her the pictures we got and again if anybody wants to see them, they can message me, um, or they're yeah. up on Cis Paranormal on Facebook. Um, yeah, that's right. She was trying. That's why it's so low. She was trying to play ball with the little boy, and yeah. it's on the floor. That's right in front of her. Okay. The ball you can't see, but she's here, on yeah. the, sitting on the floor, taking the picture. And see how low it is. Oh wow! And she was literally trying, trying to, play, to play get him ball. to play ball. Yep. That's that's pretty cool. So, yeah, the night we were there, there wasn't a whole lot of activity that, but we had like a couple of things. Ours was the big one was the right as we're getting to leave, they're like, oh, we never went in the basement. So yeah. we go down there, and that's when. Yeah, the basement yeah. was kind of. Uh, we also did. seen this one. Yes. Oh my God! Yeah, that that is. Amazing. I wish you could put pictures in the. I know. Thing. I'm showing a picture from USS Salem. That's one. That's on my bucket list. I'd love to get onto um, that. I'm petrified of boats. I'm scared to death docked. of boats. So it's, it's, it's docked. As long as I I can get to land, I'm good. But <laughs> yeah, it's right there. But um, yeah, those are. I mean, we've been doing this. I'm I'm just about four years now, and these are the amount of pictures that we consider and you can see a couple of duplicates yeah. 
So it's not like we claim all this stuff. No, it's, I mean, and that's the main thing. Like, I'm always yeah. trying to debunk. Yeah. It's like, all right, now this can't. And so there's stuff that I actually consider to be evidence. Yeah, that's right, Nick. Um, I will, Jen, I will. I'll do that. Um, actually, I'll do it right now. Um, I think I'm friends with everybody in the chat right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, they were like, okay, they were trying to rush us out and we're like, no, we still have time to go. And yeah, so we didn't leave. Because yeah. that's one, it's only one of two that I've ever paid for. Because yeah. I don't pay for investigation. No, I if generally if don't. If paid for, we're paid till three or four, whatever it was, we're yeah, staying. We're staying, yeah. Good luck there, buddy. Well, I was but, like, Carson Field, that was like, um, yeah, uh, that was a place like I really wanted to check out. And, yep. That still, I love, I love that place. I generally don't pay for things unless it's something like, okay, yeah, you know, it's for a historic upkeep or something like that. Yep. I know it's going to go to a good cause. <clears throat> um, yeah, but one of the other cool places we did on um, uh, Winchedon, one of my former teams, we did the Winchedon Manor. Uh, I've heard about that, yeah. That place is amazing. There's something coming up there. Yeah, I know there's always stuff coming up there. I, I remember seeing that. Um, but yeah, the basement, that was another one, the basement, there was like this thick sulfur smell down there and I was just setting up the equipment and I'm like, what is, you know, and we were down there, uh, somebody had gotten scratched and it was really weird, but you go upstairs and you could be sitting there and like this perfume would walk by and it was like somebody walked by you and you just, and walked away. That was one of the really cool places too. I was with one of my other teams that I had been on previously before I decided to go on and start my own. So well, it was a pretty cool place too. I'd like to go back at some point. There's so many. And now sitting here oh. tonight, I can think of more than one. I'm like last night. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't think of anything. <laughs> no, no. Any cool places in your area? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Gonna... Just give me a fan. Yeah. I would love to go back there too. Nick to Parsons field. Oh yeah. Seminary. Yeah, that was really cool. Oh yeah, and the doing going down to the cemetery and the guy yelling at us from being in the cemetery. It's like, oh, but he's this like is part of it. Yeah, it was their property, and the, but then the guy's like, you know, us people here in Maine you know, have if, the right to carry arms or whatever. Like, I know. Yeah, okay, think, I can smell the alcohol from across the cemetery. I think it's time to go, guys. I think we're just gonna move this way, just a little bit. But yeah, that was that, that was an interesting. <laughs> that was a crazy ass night. I mean, oh my god! We worked really hard the first four hours. And yeah. Then, thanks to somebody, the next couple were a little hard. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. You know, it was, <laughs> it was yeah. definitely yeah. Uh, it it made for an interesting evening. You know, it's like yeah, we're gonna do some more investigating. Yeah, that didn't work out as well as we would have liked. No. Yeah. But you know. Yeah, and then we started up again after you left. Yeah, I was just, I, I knew I had a long drive back. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to fall asleep at 6 a.m. driving, because it was, I saw more deer than I did cars on my way home that morning. Oh. I was like, oh my God. Oh. I'm trying to think of some of the other places. I got. Margaritas to... in Concord was pretty cool. Oh, I've heard of that. I, yeah, I've never been, but I did hear. Have you been to Madame Cherie's? Yes. Yes, I thought so. Yes, Madame Cherie's, uh, that, that's one I'd like to go back to, but obviously can't go at night. Can't go at night anymore. Which, that stinks. Yep. Um, but the, the energy from that place is just absolutely amazing. But we had so many people when we went. I, I don't think I got the whole energy of the place. I'm like, I kept trying to wander off by myself because I'm like, I need to go check this out. And I want, and everybody, I'm like, oh, you can't make too much noise. <laughs> I've been there so many times that, and I would have kept going, but you can't go at night. I no. would still go up during the day and stuff. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, you can still catch stuff during the day. It's, yeah. I, cause I've done it, which still. <laughs> I, I like a dozen times. I mean, I've been so many times. Yeah. I've only been up there once or twice when I was driving back from Florida this last time, went right by there. It was like, oh, it wasn't almost one in the morning. I was so stopped. Or 11. I don't even remember what time it was. Yeah. I was just by that point, and I was going to stop at a couple places on my way back from visiting my mom and um, stopped in Savannah um, to see. I want, there was a cemetery there. 
and it's one of the historic cemeteries and all this, I'd write all the stories and I'm like five o'clock they start closing in. so and I of course I get into Savannah at five o'clock so that didn't work out so well <laughs> I think you were telling us about that Sunday yeah where it just my the light bulb went over the, my yeah head. I don't want to say where but that place that we were talking about you got to get Saturday off quick yes I actually have a Saturday off coming up oh we'll have to talk to Nicole after yes um, my, cause my schedule, I have a nice long weekend coming up. So yeah. Cause I'm you know what, excited. you know what place I'm talking about? Yes. The place that's closing and yes. Yeah. We'll have to, we, we have to definitely. Yeah. And, sorry. I forgot. You can't see the chat. Just, well, we'll all have to go to Madame Chewy's on a nice fall day. Yeah. Yes. I love going there during the day. I see. I'm not one that believes that you only investigate at night anyways. No, I don't. I'll go during the day. I yeah. Did, yeah. We did if 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 possible, I like doing both. In the same location, right, because you can and see I, yeah. you know the difference. Yeah. Because sometimes you know the things change in between the day and the night. So yeah. You know, but you know, ghosts generally paranormal. They, it's not like they sleep. <laughs> no. So that we know of, anyways. I mean, I got we did a Rutland prison camps. Oh yeah. Um, oh my God, that's one of the places I love. I plan on going back. I've been up there oh, a we're couple of times. Oh, we going back this fall. So. Yeah, that's one. I definitely want to go back up there. I actually, the root cellar, we were in there and I had two of the guys with me and um, we're in there and we're talking and I'm like, all right, there's a weird, something's going on. I kicked all the guys out. I'm like, everybody out. They're like, why, why? I'm like, it was a prison camp. I'm a female. There were a bunch of guys here. Get out. And I, I swear something like rubbed my arm. And that was when I was telling them, you guys need to leave. I'm like, if we're going to get any evidence, leave. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I'm in there and I'm like, hey, I'm a woman. What's going on, guys? <laughs> yes, I flirt with ghosts. <laughs> if it gets things done. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, I know. That would be my luck. Yeah. Um, there is that woman over in Britain that apparently is getting married to a, a, a ghost. We had a client that had issues of that nature. Yeah, I remember you talking to me about that. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to go into too much too detail. Too much, because, yeah, it was it's a, a private case. It was a private case, but everybody gets the gist, but, yeah. There yeah. Was... Well, there's that woman, and, I mean, she claims she's had sex with the ghost and everything else, yeah. and I'm just like, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, the one that married it? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay. I'm like, yeah, I'll go in and flirt with them or whatever, if it helps get me Sorry, the no offense to the woman, but that kind of crazy makes me look sane. And Same. Like, sane a lot. Yeah, because you know. that, that pretty much sums it up. It's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> she held a whole ceremony. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Like, she did okay. a, the whole Wasn't thing. Wasn't it a, a, a sea captain or a pirate, a pirate or something? Pirate or something, yeah. Yeah, See, yeah. It, well, she claims you. it was the best sex she'd ever had. I'm like, with a ghost. I don't want to know how that works. I'm like, no. <laughs> I, I like saw the headline for, for the, and I'm just like, I will read a lot of weird, freaky stuff. Not this one. I just don't want to know how this is working. <laughs> I'm like, I, I love the paranormal. I love all, but no, I, I don't love it I that watched much. the whole interview of her. Did you? Oh, yeah. I just, I couldn't do it. I had to. I just, once you start, and somebody said, you know. Well, there's a recent story, too. A guy, he investigates naked. Oh, um, Scott, um, Grin, Grinswald. How do you say his last name? Grinwald? Well, yes, thank you. He was the, um. The naked, uh, yeah, he had was a it show him? one, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize because that's who it was. I just saw he was a on introspection, my... and um, yeah, that was one of the things that didn't come up because I was so busy. He got talking about investigating the Bunny Ranch, and, oh, and I wow. never got to ask him about the. It, this was recent. It was I the asked day, him and, other time though. And I'm just like, okay, we go paranormal or something naked. No, no, I think I'm gonna wear my wear clothes. Yeah. yeah. I Pretty don't get sure. it, but more power to you. Hey, if it works, say, hey, go for it. I'm not sure that would work. I think the ghost would run away screaming. Yeah, but... same here. Be like, nope, we're going to go back and, yeah, we're, we're going to go find the light. <laughs> yeah. yeah they, they, that's one way to cleanse out the place. <laughs> Just a, da -na, na 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 you see the light yet? Nope, one <laughs> more layer coming up. Hold on, here we go. Let me take out my stripper pole. Yep. Because we carry that in our back pocket. It's part of the equipment. Yep. Oh. <laughs> ghost hunting, yeah. It's okay to say ghost hunting sometimes. Yeah. It's just funny when I do the hashtag. I know. <laughs> She's, yeah, yeah, I said ghost hunting. <laughs> I'm going to marry a pirate ghost. Nice. Well, when I first started, I was really hung up on words. 
And I still am to a certain point, but now I understand that it's more of slang. Yeah. You know, but I know the difference. Well, it's like a lot of people like, you know, well, what do you, you know, what do you do? Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, my hobby is paranormal. And well, what does that mean? Oh, dear God. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I hunt ghosts for fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, some people, you, you really have to break it down to yeah. one syllable word. Exactly. It's, you know, it's like, no, it, it, is it like the ghost hunters on TV? No, not remotely. <laughs> Like I say, when people ask me that, I say yes, but we just do the opposite of pretty yeah. much everything you see on TV. It's like, you know, one of those, you sit there, you watch the shows, and you're like, no, you're doing it wrong. That's not the right way. Yeah. Why, why, what, what, what are you thinking? Yeah. You know, That's I watch, the, the occasionally I watch them, you know, just to figure out how not to do things. I watch them when, um, if we're doing a place, there's been quite a few places that we've done that have been on episodes yeah. and stuff. Um. I like more of documentary type style. Like, I loved the haunting or a haunting. A haunting. I even though, I because, like that. But they didn't protect. I mean, it was all dramatized because it was retelling. Yeah, the story. it was a retelling. Um, yeah, so I, I don't mind stuff like that. I watched the one of a haunting when they did the Victorian mansion in Gardner. And That's that what I was, was getting yeah. at. Yeah, before we went so, into it. Yeah. And I, I was after I had seen I want, that, and it was like. Oh, ghost okay. hunters, ghost adventures did that one too. Douchebaggins did it. Yeah. Yes, douchebaggins. Yes. Yeah. Although he he does have really nice hair. <laughs> there there's something about his hair. It just it's like not bad. <laughs> but the way he investigates. Although I did. Watch, That's what I said even last night. He could be a great person for all I know. Yeah. So it's nothing personal. I just don't. Like I've the actually show. heard he's. I actually I've heard he's yeah, not I, a nice person, but I don't know firsthand. But yeah, hence the nickname because. Yeah, it, it, no, exactly. I've heard he's because yeah. Anyways, I did watch um, the documentary he did, Demon House. It was actually halfway decent. That's what people say that don't like him. Is it okay? Here's my question. Mm -hmm. Paranormal. Here's a question for you. I don't okay. get this. This is a real question. Here real question. Okay. Kindred spirits. Yes, that's a, that's a good one. Too. I was actually watching that this morning. Yep. So there was nothing on TV. <laughs> so now Zach's supposed to be the all. Mighty yeah. ghost hunter, paranormal investigator. So he does this. He does, his hair is possessed. He does this um <laughs> whole documentary on the demon house, right? Yes. And he tears down the house. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm only in this four years, so I could be wrong. But what good does tearing down a house do if it's tied it's to on the, the ground? What I don't it's get it because. That doesn't so nobody can move into the house and they're not in danger, but it's still on the grounds. What if that released? Yeah, I do. Whatever was in there to so go many, to another I house. I can't. I haven't seen it, so it was but, actually interesting. I actually I enjoyed it. It was one of those. I was like, all right. I said I, I didn't put too much stock into it, but I was like, I really kind of want to check it out because I heard about it. But I'm like, that was my thing. Why tear down the house? I'm like, that's. Because it, that could either release uh, that's my it, big thing, yeah. or it's still in the ground. It's still there. Yeah, they're still, well, they're not, where are they going to go? Some people think it, 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 if it's attached to, you know, this mouse, yeah. you move the mouse somewhere. So what if it's attached to the wood? You, you it, burn it, where does it go? But most likely it's probably part of the land, but I just have like a million questions. So do I, it. because what, you know, what, what is it that was actually there in the first place? And they never actually answered that question. Yeah, see, I don't know enough to like actually talk about it just that part got me like, i know that was the, i will say though the documentary is interesting uh, how much of it though you know whether or not some of it you know was real so to speak is i mean i know you haven't seen it but a yeah. couple there was a couple scenes i'm like all right so did this really happen and you know i still like question a lot of the validity yeah with a lot too. of it but it was it was interesting to say the least i mean i it was actually a good time killer for a couple of hours because I was, I was ready to go to sleep and I'm just like, I need to watch something. It's too early. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I can't go to sleep at 8 o'clock. <laughs> when I first started dating Aaron, he would make me watch all the time. That didn't last very long because I just, I couldn't. No. I mean, I've been. I, just, I was just like, no, I can't. I've been into doing this guy for so long now. I mean, Mallory Waddell. How the hell are you? <laughs> yes, Nick. Zach is an actor and no Jen. Zach got his big break on Wheel of Fortune. Him and his sister. 
Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. He looks like a 12-year-old boy, but he was on Will and Fortune. Oh, it's on YouTube and stuff. I'll have to Google look. it, guys. Google Zach Baggins. On Will of if you, if you Google Douche Baggins, unfortunately, Will of Fortune will not come up, so use his real name. Okay. But Good to know. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was on... Um, on Will of Fortune. I had no clue. That's interesting. Yeah, and he was in, um, oh, I forget how he described it, but it was actually pretty funny to watch. I can only imagine. Yep. I, he just, he gets so overly dramatic. It's hysterical. Because I'm like, you go out onto some of these investigations, and it's like, it's not that dramatic. No, like, yeah. that's the whole point, though. That's why his shows lasted so long. Well, it's like I rewatched. I was, just because there was nothing on, there was uh, something on one of the apps I have on my TV, and it was... Um, the old Ghost Hunters. Well, the originals when they started it was like the first season. It was the best of. I was watching the Eastern State Pen one, which is on my bucket list. I really want to go to a haunted prison, insane asylum, haunted prison, and haunted amusement parks. Those, those are on my list. <laughs> <laughs> and um, although the big one, I know um, Matt, who helps me out a great deal, um, and he better be listening. <laughs> he, um, our, our, we really want to get into an insane asylum. <laughs> Like we're gonna... you would have no problem getting into no. the asylum. It's getting out. You the might have me a problem. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. Back in the day, I mean, some of the things they put yeah. you in for, I, I'd have been in there. Illiteracy. Yeah. Um, if if the guy, if your husband wanted to get rid of you, just if you. Oh, so. you know what is it? You know, you drink too much. Uh, you go through menopause. I mean, there. I had a list, and I'm just like. I would have been locked up for sure. Yeah. But like our dream is, you know, to go sit in the morgue. I mean, we're the crazy ones who'll sit in the morgue and be like, okay, come get us. Yeah, you would. I can <laughs> That's, see that. That, you know, I, I told Matt, I'm like, yep, me and you used to be laying there on the slabs going, all right, talk to us. Although my friend Corey, who does a lot of my editing and stuff that helps me out going through footage. And he's like, why do I have to edit every time we go someplace? All right, I'm here. Pull my hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please pull my hair. <laughs> When I told you one of these times it's gonna happen and you're gonna shit. Probably. Like, oh you know? my god. Do it again, do it again. I lost my chat again. Which would be hysterical. Yeah. Or his museum. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the museum. I'm not sure. I don't know if I have a feeling one way or the other about it. I haven't decided. Yeah. yeah I I don't know. I I Kind of feel like he's trying to compete with like the Warrens and stuff. Oh, uh, the the nephew, um, Zap Zap. What's his name, guys? Zap or Zap? Uh, John Zappas. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. See, I need somebody to help me with yeah. my words. Yeah, uh, yeah, the haunted collector. That's it. Who is, from what I understand, a super nice guy. Kim says, meet them at a paracon. They're all friendly, but Zap. The only time he would talk to anyone after you paid 20 bucks to get the picture of him, the rest of them would sit and talk with you. I've heard that before. I have too. Yeah. I heard Aaron is an awesome guy. Yeah. I've never heard anything bad about him. No. And he does a lot for charity and things yeah. like that. I know he has like the big step in organization and stuff and he does a lot for kids. Yeah. Which is, I think is pretty cool. Although I will say Zach recently... He did a whole thing with the ASPCA somebody, or something. Somebody said that a minute ago. The chat, my chat keeps freezing, and then it goes to zoom. Yep. And you can't go back on this one. So, um, I think it was Alita or Kim. Somebody said something. Uh, it was Alita. He donates to pet rescues, and yeah. So I mean, you there's know, good and bad in everybody. There is. He makes joking. He's a millionaire. Doing oh, I know. what he likes to do, acting, and I mean, just hey. some people out there take it. Seriously. I mean, I, I'd love to be able to, you know, actually do what I love and get paid for it. But, yeah. you know, I still, or I do or not, you know, ever get on the TV show and each. that's not why I'm in this. I don't know if I would because too many. I wouldn't want them dictating what I have to do. What you can do, what you can't do in no. editing. Yeah. Like that, I'd be very picky. I just, I'd i be like, no, that has to stay. No. One, and I have always said for the past two years doing this, I have a face for radio. Not TV. Me too. So this is why I'm behind the, you know. Well, that's what I wanted to do was I wanted to actually get into radio because I have a communications degree, English communications, um, writing or radio. I was like, I did I did the TV thing when I was in high school and it was like, no, no, it just it doesn't work. I'm like, plus the camera adds ten pounds and I can't have another ten pounds added. <laughs> Man, add ten pounds to my ass, we're in trouble. 
Oh God, me too. You know, be like Ugh. exactly, Nick. He could be a great person, but doesn't. Manny Mo says hi, Carrie. Hi, Manny. <laughs> hey, buddy. Ah, uh, you promised you were gonna listen. He well. I got confused because I saw Nicole. I can't see, but I saw a girl, and I was like, wait, because they're both black and white. Yes. <laughs> I said he, and then I'm like, wait, was that a girl? Yep. No, that's my friend Manny. He's uh, he was all excited about me because we were talking about it. Hi, all, Manny. Nice to meet you. He's he's an awesome guy. It was one of my. Yeah. He's uh. I know who you mean. Yes, we, yeah. we, we've talked about okay. Manny. You know how sensitive this is? It probably picked up what I was whispering. Oh, sorry. Oh. No, he's um, he, he's awesome. It's my Meerkat he's Manny. He's listening. So. Yeah, Meerkat Manny. <laughs> so we, we call him because we, we work together. So We, um, they, they, let's see, Kim says she got to meet John Zappas. Oh. Great guy to talk to. I've heard he's awesome. I know a few people that have met him and just say he's just fantastic about how he keeps all this, this like haunted items and keeps it in his museum. I'm like, that's, okay. and I know a lot of people who do that. They, you know, they collect haunted things and I'm like, I don't need to be haunted in my home. I wouldn't take the risk, but if they know what they're doing, I mean. Oh yeah. I mean, like, you know, you look at the Warrens, they have the, Anna, yeah. the original Annabelle doll yeah. locked up and yeah. I mean, they know what it is. And I was, just, um, the Warrens were, Years ago, when I, I used to read paranormal book after paranormal book, anything that this was haunted as a kid. Oops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just almost... She's knocking things around. Just the mic, so it probably just squealed on them. Um, that's the second best part of tonight. Well, third. The first best part was spending four days with Nicole. Yes. Just me and her off, no kids, no... Oh, that had to be awesome. It was. But the second favorite part was um, Ed Warren's grave just going... Yes. And I know he's another one that some people think he's controversial. I don't care. You know, no, they open the door and, but it was an awesome. Yeah. They, they certainly, I mean, they opened the door for us to be able to do what we do. You know, I yeah. mean, whether people say they're fakes or whatever, they still, I mean, even when I was a little kid, just the things that they did, cause I used to read about them. Yeah. And, um, recently saw the nun actually with Manny this week, yeah. <laughs> which, um, was the way they tied it in at the end was kind of really cool. So I'm wondering if they're actually going to do um, the case that they had at the end. You have loud neighbors? No, that's not my neighbors. If anybody can hear the screaming, that is outside on the sidewalk, a fight. Awesome. Huh. Okay, well, they stopped, so she's either... Well, right. we hear sirens. We'll know why. Yeah. The only issue is, is my daughter's going to be home in a second. We're going to have to walk through it. So. Oh, um, no. They'll drop her off out back, though. Oh, good. Okay. She'll come up the back stairs like you did. Um, Once I found where I was going. Yeah, I saw, you, by. I saw you. And then you drove back. <laughs> I'm this, like, yeah. Back and like, I don't know where I am. The second best part was Sarah Winchester. Yes. Right. That had to have been, yeah, I, I looked at all the pictures and stuff. Was like, that, that had to be, Connecticut, there's a lot in yeah. Connecticut. There's so much, we couldn't do everything. No. But, you know, I mean, we did a lot, we squeezed so much in in that time. In just, yeah, a few days. But, but yeah. yeah, Connecticut, there is so much down there that I know me and my friend Brittany plan on making a trip down there at some point once we get everything yeah. together. Yeah, you know, we need a girls' road trip. Although, <laughs> my big thing, I want to go back to get so much oh, I'd love to go to Gettysburg. That's, I mean, it's an eight-hour drive, but you go up and around. It's not bad. They're celebrating Friday, too, out there, I think. Woohoo, are they dancing? <laughs> they're, they're singing and cheering. Well, let's hope yeah, it's for something off. good. Yeah, right? Nobody's dead, so that's a good thing. Right. So, let's see. Um, Nicole, you still in chat? Or I don't know what time she's heading this way, so... Oh, well, maybe she'll surprise us. She might. It's Nicole. <laughs> yeah. We still should have a little bit. She says, hey, I'm down for a road trip. What, the eight-hour to Gettysburg? <laughs> you heard it here first. She agreed to the eight-hour road, road trip. trip to Gettysburg. <laughs> Let, let's, let's plan this. I'll pack my peanut butter and jelly and my coffee. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut yeah. butter jelly time. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Man. All right. So 
I forget where the hell we were going now that you just did that dance because <laughs> they can't see you, but I did. And I was trying so hard not to laugh. And I'm still fanning myself. I know. Next, next. She's dancing next to me and I'm ignoring it. And I'm over here fanning myself and she's ignoring it. So this is going. This, this is awesome. It's this going. is like a, our typical investigations, though, before we actually start investigating anything. Yeah. I, that poor waiter. <laughs> I know. That poor waiter. That's all I can think We about. warned him. And my mother. Time. My mother was there. I know. Hey, we warned the man ahead of time. We told yeah, him. Yeah, Carrie's driving. She said, <laughs> wink, wink. Hey, I'll drive. I got no problem. I've done it before. Yeah. But yeah, the, the poor the poor waiter. It's like. <laughs> I'm he just didn't like, seem to mind, though. No, because I'm batting my eyelash. I was like, yeah. eh? Yeah. Here, let, let me just write my number next to the tip area. <laughs> but you didn't. No, I should have. No balls. I'll remember that next time. Yeah. I'll be, you guys dared me to walk up to that other guy and just introduce myself, and I did. I know. We're still friends to this day, kind of. <laughs> well, you know, it's like, yeah, go meet that guy. You, you said it, and I was like, no, she really will. Like, I didn't think you would. Now I know better. <laughs> yeah. Brian. I, His name is Brian. Oh, God. Remember? <laughs> yes. He was with us, the group, the whole night. Yes, that's I right, yeah. And Carl and his girlfriend. Girl, yes. I don't know we met why some pretty they cool stayed. people. We, 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 I don't know why they. Couple other days. They probably were afraid to leave us alone with that guy. You know? oh, that, it, it definitely made the night interesting. I was all good until until like you got really touchy, and I'm like, you know, if I wasn't in such a good mood, I would have. Actually, I did hit him. Yeah, you did at one point. Yeah, yeah. pretty I, much. He, he said he wanted to bend me over the headstone, and <laughs> I whacked him. Was like. Uh, you, you're what? Do we need to leave you guys alone? No. <laughs> um, yeah, those were your exact words. No, no, stay. Yeah, no, yeah. Do not leave me alone. No. That was when we were in the cemetery before we got. Yeah, he does. By Brian that. does, Nick. Yep. Yeah, don't. Yeah, no. <laughs> the only time we're alone was like for two minutes, and that's where he point, pointed. To, it wasn't even two minutes. He pointed to the bathroom, or whatever. Yeah. And didn't say a word to me the whole time. No. He didn't he, look he, at me. Didn't say a word to me. Just like it was like there. Yeah, their bathroom. Yep, yeah. that's it, and just stayed there. So, but yeah, you know, that was it was interesting. And you know, you you got to look at the full moon. <laughs> I well, and you know, Nicole didn't warn you. Well, she was in shock because she was in front of him, and all of a sudden he start. She was literally in front of him, and he starts unzipping his pants, and I see, I I saw what I saw. <laughs> That was definitely a night I none of us I think will forget for a long time. Yeah. I think I think after I think I only hit him twice. The second time I think is when he finally stopped him. Touch and touch him. Like, yeah. Well, I, I'm pretty sure after he said he was gonna bend you over the headstone, that was pretty much like, all right, now you're pushing it, dude. Yeah. That, that that's enough. Yeah. yeah. Go 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 that way. Go. Isn't there somebody else you want to annoy? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was he was friendly enough. Too friendly. He was very I, I friendly. Mean, I mean, because we know who, know him. Yeah. It wasn't like threatening or something. I, I I don't know. Yeah, it was definitely we had a lot of fun. We saw a full moon. Yes, literally. Well, a the, bright white skinny full moon. Oh, well, the funny thing is, my team the last couple of times we've been out to investigate, we did Bear Brook and we did um, Dogtown. Both of the times we did the investigations was on a full moon. We did dog town like a week apart, didn't we? Just so yeah, apart, yeah, but a couple weeks apart. Um, that Nikki almost saw more than a full moon. <laughs> well, my friend Brittany, it was her first investigation, and she was just she. We were out there, and we were all at Papa Gino's, and she's grabbing napkins. She's like, "I gotta pee out in the woods." She's like, "I'm not trying to drip dry while I'm being chased by a werewolf." <laughs> Cause that That's was one of the right. clips. Yes, and that, that was right. like, and the highlight. We all got lost, and we're like, "Trust us, we're professionals." That was the, the quote of the evening when we did Dogtown. We were lost. For three I love telling stories about myself that most people wouldn't tell on air. Yeah. Like, it, go back and listen to the show last night. I told my cop story. About oh, the God. guy asking if I needed a breathalyzer. The cop asking if I needed a breathalyzer. And yes. I said, Is yes. it, are you asking me to blow? You know? <laughs> did you want me to blow off, sir? <laughs> yeah. I'll blow. Just strip search me first. But anyways. Especially if he's cute. <laughs> yeah, he was, but. 
I was just giving him a hard time because that's just who I am. I usually And do. I said it was like 10 years or so. Mm-hmm. It's more like 15, 16 years ago. Yeah. You know, well, you know, the, the shorter time I'll go with, you so, know. I had to pee in the woods. First mm-hmm. time ever. Um, it was like two years ago. Yep. And I was so scared to pee in my shoe. <laughs> I was like, I was almost having a panic attack because I didn't want to pee in my shoe. Yeah. Well, then, so I did what I had to do and I didn't get it anywhere. I was so excited. We go down and I'm like, yay, I peed and I didn't even get it. And I looked and there's a video camera right in my face. And I didn't care. So good. I'm like, yay. It's like, I peed. <laughs> No flashing. <laughs> that's the night I thought I heard a wild boar. I guess oh, yes, they're not I really you in the area, me, yeah. but, you know, I don't know what the hell the kind of, you yeah. know, I was actually thinking that something growls, I just think of. Uh, yeah. Hey, okay, there's wild animals. Big bear chase me. Big bear chase me. Mm-hmm. I've watched The Great Outdoors one too many times. It was one of my dad's favorites. <laughs> he laughed for weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I just, Wait, I can't even you, look at Jen's comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, flag. I don't even. What? What do I do? This emoji is so small. I can only tell you what it looks like. It looks like an eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> Not what it looks like to me, but. Well, I'm pretty sure it's symbolizing. Other... Yeah, I didn't see that. Thank God. <laughs> No, no. You know what, though? Do you remember how quick he pulled his pants up when I grabbed the camera? Yes. I'm like, yeah, do it again. Go ahead. I, it's going on Facebook. Same thing you send me a... Can I say dick? Yeah, I say fuck. Yeah, say it dick. might as well. It's a um, dick pic. Yeah. Send me a dick pic on my page. It, it might end up on my page. Yep. Well... Not my, my, not my, my, not the personal one, but my yeah. page page. I blur it out, but yeah, I put it up there with your name. Yep. You I'm tired so. of getting those, man. Oh, I know. I it's one of those you post you, you post it. And guess who this belongs to? <laughs> I think the last one, I don't know if it was Nicole, it might have been even Aaron that I sent the screenshots to. Somebody sent me. Yeah. And um it was a while ago. Nobody's done it in a while. It's, it's been calling people out but um and I'm like, Man, that thing's so small, I'm gonna be bragging about it. <laughs> <laughs> I locked them. Oh, I've gotten a few like that. Yeah. I'm just like, Really? That's it? I don't even remember if it was or wasn't, but that was just, that was it my was just, moment, yeah? That's usually, that's the best way to do it. So, uh, so. oh man, we're already up to, we're already at our hour. Oh my God, it's already been an hour. You're welcome to come back anytime. That would be awesome. I do the show once a month by myself. And hey, that would be cool, you know? You know? God knows, <laughs> we got plenty of stories and oh, yeah. we all know we there'll be more. We didn't even get into it. A lot of them. No. I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, oh. We, we have many stories, and I'm sure there's going to be plenty more. Yeah. So. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Can you guys, now we have to wait 30 seconds, but can you hear that? There's some weird things going on outside. Yeah, very. And Kate's, I'm messaging Kate. Well, she's still at work because she hasn't been on. Oh, maybe they have her stayed. I do she might have worked so long. Anybody, before we go, anybody have any questions for us? I can't. Yeah. Yeah, so they, they hear us so far after. I know. That she's just not saying I can't. Um, yeah, before we go, if you have any questions, when will she come back? <laughs> yes, Mel, I'm on every Friday. And um, uh, coming October with Switching Networks, um, as you know, um, to Paranormal Buzz Radio. Um so we will be, I'll be Friday night still, Shay's Paranormal Chat. Yeah, probably now. Um, but uh, let's see, we're going to do shout outs. We got Miss Jen B. We got Mal. Mal, love you, miss you. We got my sister Nicole, who I also love. I love her too. Yes. <laughs> um, Alita, thank you, Alita. Nice to meet you, Manny. Yes, Manny's awesome. Yeah. He is, he we is had, the bomb. Maybe we'll meet someday. Yes, well, he's very, he's one of the ones I have so many friends that are, like, so supportive of what I do. He's, yeah. He's, he's a big one, so he's, he's great. Miss Luna, Miss Kim. I'm missing some people here, but I always feel bad if I miss anybody, but I, 
I can only go down so far. We got Matthew as Paranormal Buzz. Matthew Adele, not the other Matthew. So I can't scroll anymore. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anybody. But um, So on that note, thank you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. And we will see you next Friday, which is why they want to give me a show on Tuesday. Ah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Have a good night. Good night, guys. Oh, wait, tell them where to find you. Oh. Tell you your page and stuff. Uh, you can find my personal page under my name. And uh, Spirit Trackers Paranormal Society is my team. So look us up, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. And so. if you have any questions on where to find her, um, Shay knows. Yep, just <laughs> message me and I will send you out the information. But good night and see you next week.